Right guys, so as you can see by the title of this video, this is a very special video for me to make and I'm so excited to announce this, but I have joined Veloce Esports, which I'm sure a lot of you are already aware of seeing as it's been announced on Twitter and my Twitter name, my PSN name and my YouTube name have already changed. But it was a really big decision for me to make, obviously with lots of things to consider, but I'm so so glad I've made this decision. And Veloce Esports was set up at the back end of 2017. It is the sister company to Veloce Sports, which is one of the lead, the world's leading motorsport pioneering agencies already, working with drivers from categories like Formula 1, Formula E and British Formula 3. I'll leave links in the description down below to their Twitter and their Instagram and their eSports website as well, so you can go and check them out and please follow them on their journey. And I've been signed, obviously, alongside other eSports drivers such as Veloce Limitless, and Veloce Danny on the F1 2017 side of things, two of the fastest guys on the game so I'm really really happy to be working alongside these guys. Veloce Limitless or TRO Limitless as he used to be known, obviously one of the most well known people in AOR through his YouTube and also how quick he was recently making the decision to move to the wheel and also Formula Danny or Veloce Danny, probably I'd say one of the quickest guys on the game in the world on the PC side of things so I'm the first driver of Veloce on the PS4 side of things so I'm really really happy that Veloce have picked me and I'm so grateful for this opportunity and I really want to make the most of it and give back to them what they've given to me through competition representing them in AOR and the races I do on F1 games and Project Cars games as well and obviously the aim this year in the short term hopefully will be to get to the esports finals in Abu Dhabi and the esports semi-finals as well that is the target for this year and I believe Veloce can take me to a new level in terms of my competition, how I race and also through my content creation because I know I've got 200 subscribers or just over now which is really good for me but I feel hopefully I can reach a new level with that and improve my content for you guys which is something that will mean a lot to me and hopefully you guys will enjoy that in the coming months and years hopefully. Speaking to the guys there, I know that this is an opportunity not to be missed. The dedication that they have towards esports success and the facilities they have as well. I'm sure a lot of you have seen WTF1's video on their simulator which looks absolutely insane. I will be driving on that sometime in the not too distant future which I absolutely can't wait for. But education will of course still remain the priority because of my age, 17 years old. This is not my job. and. Who knows where it can take me in the future, but for now obviously I still have to focus on what I'm doing with college and everything like that, but this is still a hobby for the time being, but it's definitely a very good hobby to have and I'll be investing a lot of time into this to be as successful as I can be for the team. But it was announced on my birthday that I was joining Veloce, which was pretty cool for me on my 17th birthday joining their academy team as their first driver in that, which is basically the young drivers of the team and I absolutely can't wait to just get started and crack on with hopefully you know a lot of success in the coming weeks it's not just playing from my house that I'll be doing it there's a lot of exciting things coming up in the future and yeah I absolutely can't wait and once again I'm so thankful for Veloce for choosing me but my dream has always been to be a racing driver from a very young age but obviously Karting and things like that being very expensive. Never had the chance to do it, just purely because of the expense. And I've always been playing games for many years now, almost I think 10, 12 years, something like that. And after seeing the facilities of Veloce and what they can offer me, as I said already, this is an opportunity not to be missed. And yeah, the main goal is esports success. And if I can do that, you know, it will be absolutely amazing and this is of course like a very exciting time to be a sim racer with the rise of esports so once again who knows where it can take me in the future and working together with the team there and also the other drivers you know three drivers on the F1 side of things and also got drivers from other games but the target as a team is to be the best in the world in terms of esports obviously there's a lot of other teams who are taking it seriously and want to be the best but we're going to work hard to achieve our goals 
and I will make sure I do the best for the team in the future but last of all I want to thank everyone who has supported me in my league racing and through YouTube and Twitter etc really appreciate it and please make sure you follow Veloce on their journey and lastly I'd like to thank once again Veloce themselves for choosing me it was a massive surprise for me seeing as it's only my rookie season in AOR in the top tier but once again I'm just so so thankful for it and I can't wait for the future it's definitely a really exciting time so thank you very much for watching leave a like if you have enjoyed and I will see you very soon now on as Voloce Oli D I hope you like that name and I will see you very soon goodbye driver blinking red with a fuel monitor he doesn't care that he's losing time to the driver behind it is going to be Ali D they never they said he would never win a Grand Prix it's just his second race start having the bricks on his shoulders trying to maintain doing everything it needs to take to win a Grand Prix second ever start F2 champion Ali D wins a Chinese Grand Prix and wins it today in Shanghai on the Kemmel straight sticking to the inside back to the outside it's sort of tandem drafting if you think about it, but around the outside, Ali D takes the lead. Ali D finished this race, Puncture 3 takes the victory, the Belgian Grand Prix wins here in Spa, Masters tires that, he masters his tires.